file is based on ratio. I think it's worth looking at. I'm not saying it's the best file in the world, but there are some interesting aspects to it. Again, this is for, for junior maths and not related to graphing or uh, geometry. So a few things before we show you how to build this. The slider value is the sum of these three lengths and the three lengths are in the ratio two, three, five. So my point is, do students actually know what that means? So any kind of visual representation of a ratio I think is a good idea. Uh, how this comes together is interesting. And where I think this does have potential is you could set students a task to create one of these. There's a bit of maths involved in making this work. So I think that might be the nicest aspect of the file itself. This video is made assuming that people know how to um, do stuff with GeoGebra. So there's a couple of things. The sum of these three segments is calculated here. So that's S. You need that for the, the, the dynamic text. Now the thing to note is in the segments, you notice there's only three segments, but there's six of them here. And two of them are repeated. There's a 3.35, there's a 3.35. So each one of these is two segments and there's a reason for that. So there's a couple of aspects to this file that you might want to use for other files. So let's have a look. A couple of things I would do is on the options, I would start off at font size 18. I'd have labeling no new objects initially. So the first task is to create a slider. Just call it A0250, I think we'll do it. And then we're going to create some intervals with given length. So we need to choose the length, and this is where the maths comes into it. So the first one's gonna be uh, two tenths, which is one fifth, which is A divided by five. And let's move the slider along the way a little bit. Second segment will be A divided by 10 times by three. And it's good to explain this process, not from a, remember, this is the trick, but from pointing out that we've got 10 parts all together, and this particular length is using three of those parts. So we divide it by the 10 and we times it by three. Just thought I'd throw a plug in there for conceptual understanding rather than rote learning, haha. -ha. And the third one is going to be a half. So let's have a look at what it looks like. Get my right. Um, don't know where that point came from. Now what we need to do is get these values. Now the reason I've got two segments for each one, is that I've linked the height show to the colored one, which is fatter, and it's got the uh, value turned on, so that when I unclick that, the original one stays there. So that's a nice little trick, a nice little principle you can use uh, in a lot of files. So what I'm going to do is hide, uh, and we can do that just by doing that. Then we're going to get a standard interval segment. And we know that's I, all right? So on I, we want to um, show the value. Yeah, for some reason, you're gonna do that twice. And I'm going to make all these fives and I'm gonna color that one uh, purple. Same with the next two. Now what I can do is hide both of those and then create new segments and then go to object properties and do a couple things at once. So let's, with the style, uh, select both J and K and then we can go to five together. We can show value for both of those and then we need to highlight them individually to get a color. So we'll do the second one red and we'll do the third one blue. Okay, so the checkboxes need to be linked to I, J and K. So let's do them next. We'll go show short length and that's going to be the purple one, which is I. Next one will be J and the last one Then we need to unfix all these. Then we need to color. Okay, so let's see if that's working. 
yes. But I like having the other segments showing. So now, there we go. So you can start the file with what's what's going on. What's going on, kids? You could even hide this first. You could guess that first. And you could put this on a check a checkbox as well. Um, so we could do hide ratio. There you go. Hide ratio values. Whoops. Unfix. There you go, so you could start that way. Then you could show the short length or one at a time, you could show those. See if they can work out what the ratios are. And then show that. Now we need the dynamic text. And we did need to do the sum first. Either FGH or IJK, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna call that S equals F plus G plus H. And there it is. So now we need the dynamic text, sum check. I'm calling this the sum check. F plus G plus H. And that equals, and we've found our sum, which, which is S. Obviously that number has to equal that number. And you could ask the students why. Why is that the case? We want to change the name on the slider or whatever you want. And so now I think we're pretty much there. But you might want to get students to create these because the maths involved in creating the sliders would make this a worthy activity for students. You could, for example, give them files just with this title and with a, a ratio designated here, but make different files have different designated ratios for different levels of students. And once students have made a couple of these, you might get them to make up any, any file that's got, that has a ratio in it to their sort of level. So, there's an idea. Hope you like that. Thanks.